Morning, First Love family. Morning, Nick. Morning. What? Morning. <laughs> okay, you guys, so yesterday we were in, uh, in 1 Peter chapter 2, the first couple of verses. I'm going to read those again because they tie into the Devo for today. And it goes like this, Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. And it goes into what we're going to be talking about today, starting in verse 4, chapter 2, verse 4, why we did those things. And it says, coming to him as a living stone, rejected indeed by men, he was rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also, just like him, chosen by God and precious, you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore, do it. Therefore, offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God. So, okay, so what might that be? Well, the answer to that is in Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable surface. Uh, Two different authors. He says, uh, Peter says that you're going to, you know, you're being built up a spiritual house. That's First Love Church. That's any other church in this neighborhood, in this town, in this county, in this state, in this country that is teaching the pure and unadulterated word of God and is worshiping God in spirit and in truth because the word says that he is seeking such to worship him. Seeking such to worship him in spirit and in truth. So we're being built up a spiritual house, not a carnal house. Not a house where we come to check out the back pockets of girls in tight jeans. Not that place. Not the place where we come for donuts and a coffee and and walk into church late halfway through the first or second worship song because, well, it was nice and sunny outside. No, we show up here to worship God in spirit and in truth because we're being built up a spiritual house. He has a plan for you. And that plan for you is to be infused with his power and his grace, and his his capability for mercy and compassion and conquering power, a spirit of conquering. Do you know what's going to conquer? Do you know what's going to conquer that world out there? Truth. Truth. And when you stand in the truth, in God's truth, which is the only real truth, when you stand in God's truth, nobody can come against you. And they might come at you loud. They might come at you in your face. They might come at you. But when you look at them through God's eyes and they see the controlled power of his holiness, at some point they're going to lose their juice, man. At some point, they're going to lose their juice Uh, because we're here to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And they said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice. As who did? As Jesus did. Presented his body as a living sacrifice. And what was the fruit of that? Resurrection. The fruit of that was resurrection. Resurrection. Resurrection power, salvation power, sanctification power. And if we offer up that same sacrifice, our bodies a living sacrifice before God, holy and acceptable is our reasonable service, then, then don't you think that he's going to imbue us, empower us with that same resurrection power? No, I don't mean that necessarily that we're going to go to the cemetery and raise people from the dead, but we're going to raise walking dead people from the dead by the power of our character that is God imputed in us. I know a lot of you have raised the dead because I see him. I see him following you here. Hey, Pastor Pete, that guy I brought to church last Sunday, he got saved and he's coming to Tuesday night men's study. You raised him from the dead, dog. 
You raised him from the dead. A holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. And what happens? The fruit. The fruit is that we're body snatchers, soul snatchers, snatching people up out of the cold and harsh ground. Coming to him as a living stone, rejected indeed by men. Yeah, he was rejected by men, but not all men. He wasn't rejected by you. He wasn't rejected by me. He wasn't rejected by this sanctuary full of people that gather here on a Sunday morning to worship and to praise him and to sacrifice ourselves to be willing to do his bidding. And what is his bidding? Well, I got to be frank. Don said it last Sunday. Invite people to church. Bring people to church. That's what we got to do, man. You also as the living stone. That's, a, that's an interesting contradiction in terms because how is it that a stone could be living? But what are the characteristics of a stone? Able to break things. Able to break down the hard heart. Impenetrable. Unable to be defeated. It's hard to beat a rock. It's hard to beat a rock. The rock usually does the beating. But in this case, the beating is sweet. The beating, you know, in this case, the beating is the destruction of the flesh in others. And we do it with compassion and we do it with love. That's the kind of rock we want to be, that kind of rock that, 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 that sees a person entrapped in a, a cocoon of flesh and sin. And with that rock, we break that cocoon and set that butterfly free. I'm getting weird now. <laughs> Anyway, you guys get my point, man. Let's be that living stone. Let's be that living stone, a, 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 a holy priesthood. Please, let's ride this out, man. Let's ride this out. I love you guys. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. <laughs> You're a good and mighty God. For everybody that's listening here today, just give them a joyous day, Lord. Fill them with passion, propelled purpose. Help our family to grow and prosper and to cherish each other. Love one another fervently with a pure heart. So we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys. I was a dead man walking This is First Love Church. Welcome home.